Elvin Barnes is back. The invisible man, you know he's returned, and he's got a lot of potential. He's the type of player who can really dominate the defensive board, get the ball out, get a team running, get in, offensively score a lot of points. He's got all the talent in the world if he can stay on the court. Of course, Marvin Barnes is a guy who's had his problems, but there's one thing you can be sure of, he can play basketball. There is the first quarter. Both these teams are known for defense this year. And there is the man that can turn Buffalo around. Marvin Barnes is in the lineup. Barnes moving around. They've got Brewer on him. Here's Marvin Barnes with the basketball. Hound Dog McLean gets a free from 30. Barnes played at Providence College. They clear a side for him. He goes in on Brewer. Gets his own rebound. Marvin Barnes going to shoot two. Marvin says he hopes this career is going to be good news from now on. But as to tell fellas at the ACI in Providence, Rhode Island, he's playing this one for them. Sweeps it up, and Buffalo has the one-point lead. Nader has 10. Here comes Randy Smith, and can't he go? Down to Marvin Barnes, who gets all of it on the way down, and Buffalo opens up a three-point lead. That's foot speed right there. Both of those players can really burn Barnes, hustling his eyes lit up as he took it in for a slam. The bag over is the outside. When he gets hot, he can just break it open. He didn't get that depth to go now. It's back the other way as Marvin Barnes drills one down from about 18 feet away. He's got six. That's vintage Marvin Barnes right there. That's the way he played when he was at St. Louis. Tried to get down the floor quickly, get that quick opportunity shot. He's an excellent perimeter shooter. Bingo Smith brings it right back. He hits those wedge shots way, way up. The Nets are on fire, Don Cricky. Hey, they're putting points up 47 to 45. The Braves by two. Marvin starting to make his presence felt. Eight points. One. Buffalo's lead cut to a point. It was five not that long ago. Very poor percentage shot, but Marvin Barnes takes down the deep offensive board. Ball is tipped out to Randy Smith. Buffalo gets there. Barnes goes up with a fine offensive rebound. Spinning move inside. He misses it. He almost gets it in. He keeps it alive. Randy Smith has it. There's no push off, but that's what they call again. It's Clears have gotten the lead again. Marvin Barnes. Spin it off. And they hacked it, Marvin Barnes. So the big guy is going to go to the free throw line. I always. We'll look at again, him again, Barnes displaying some of the moves that made him an ABA all-star as he comes from the corner, made a spinning move back in. Brewer has a lot of trouble with him, and he's on the line for a couple of free throws. Be sure and stay tuned for the MVP award at the conclusion of the game. Remember that game in St. Louis of the ABA, Steve, when you were a teammate of Marvin Barnes. He missed the plane, charted his own plane. Where'd he fly down to Virginia? Flew down to Virginia. He came in like he was Winston Churchill. Had a little 10-gallon hat on, his overcoat, and his warm-ups on underneath. Flashing that victory sign. He went out and got 48 points and 23 rebounds as we won that game, pulling away. And to get one shot and make it very tough for the Cavaliers to come back down and score. Doubling up on Marvin Barnes. Look at him follow it up, and he got the basket. It went through. Barnes came out of the woodwork, followed his own shot, and slammed it back through. And the game is tied at 85. Again, Marvin Barnes is playing some of the things that made him such a high pick in the dispersal draft. Let's see Marvin Barnes in action. There's he the chases ball his own shot. He just grabs it and throws it back down for that grand slam. And the story is tied up. We got a ball game here, Don Cricket. This one's been tight all the way. We go. Brewer took advantage of it. Mike Shaw, the Braves PR man, says that Mike Summer or Mike Glenn is about the best. Outside shooter, this is the pure shooter they've had in a long time. He's a tremendous shooter. As you saw again, Marvin Barnes puts the ball up and he chases it. He's in deep. He's very tough inside. He makes a little finger roll move there and he gets his own rebound. All kind of coming down the right way. Nader with a nice touch, but it doesn't go. Marvin Barnes puts it up twice and gets it the second time. Again, you see the strength of Marvin Barnes. Tremendous on the board. He has kept the ball alive and kept the Cavaliers from pulling away. That was a tough shot. If that goes, Barnes is down to the floor as he missed the tip in. Barnes looking for a whistle. No such luck. Again, he's been everywhere. Marvin Barnes heads to the hoop, and he was hacked on the play. It's on the line. He's suffering. 
from the lack of oxygen. He's a little tired, but he's going to try and get him down. Marvin Barnes will try again with 1.20 to go and his team, Buffalo, down by four. And they say fatigue makes cowards of us all. And it's really gotten the best of Marvin Barnes. He's tired, not a bad free throw shooter, and normally rises to the Cajun in the clutch. He missed a pair. Barnes gets the ball away from Russell. 